What's going on with Force Brian here, and today we're going to be breaking down the new Final Fantasy 15 crossover event within the world of Final Fantasy 14. Now, this event is running from April 16th through May 27th, so you're going to want to jump on this as soon as possible. It actually has a really good quest line, and we're going to cover that in a different video. But there are a couple of fights that I figured we could break down the boss mechanics as well as tell you where you can find all the loot from this event and that way you have the best opportunity to collect everything before it's gone on may 27th so without further ado just follow the main storyline so just talk with the reporter outside of the flames central here in ulda and then go ahead and head out to blackbrush station you're going to have to go participate in a fate here in a little bit so we're going to go and show that fight we're going to go and show the different fights that you have to participate in and from there uh, you should be able to easily knock this out within a good hour or less so traveling to the marked location on the map, the fate will spawn pretty frequently, but you might find yourself waiting just a little bit. Burn down the MT troopers here, uh, and eventually a bigger boss will spawn. It's pretty simple, straightforward. All you have to do is level sync and go from there. If you guys aren't aware, you do need to be level 50 to participate in this event if you cannot find uh, the, the starting NPC. There you go. Uh, once you burn these guys down, then the big boss will spawn. He'll spawn with some adds. Burn them down as well. Don't stand a bad. It's pretty basic, pretty simple as far as it goes, but you're gonna put this kind of on a farm because this is going to drop the materials that you need to be able to unlock all the scrolls that you can do from any of the major city states. And we'll show you the, the vendor here uh, towards the end of the video. But let's go ahead and dive into our first other boss fight. So this quest line will take you out to Hawthorne Hut area where you're gonna kick off a couple more cutscenes and you're gonna be facing off against a daemon, or in this case, a demon as they would say. But this is a really cool fight. He's got a lot of different moves. You can see here Death Ray. Death Ray is going to put down these lines on the ground and it's gonna come back and hit you from behind. So you wanna to try to avoid it as a complete AOE as well. He's not gonna have any kind of hate table, so you're just gonna, you can bring out any kind of, <laughs> if you're a summoner like me, I end up switching over to Ifrit here in a little bit. Obviously right there you see a various stack mechanic and he's also gonna bring out pillars as well that you need to stand in, otherwise it's gonna put out raid wide damage. Just Pretty much damage him, uh, rinse and repeat, and make sure you don't stack up for Thunderbolt here, which would end up hurting uh, more people as well. So here you can see that I'm bringing out Ifrit and just attacking and attacking. This is a pretty simple and straightforward fight. And there's the pillar that I was talking about. You wanna go jump and stand in that. Uh, Noctis is gonna go stand in another pillar as they start to spawn more than one. So just kind of keep that in mind. So stack when you need to stack, spread when you need to spread, and don't stand anywhere near death ray, otherwise you might find yourself getting hit pretty hard. So hopefully you've seen all that. You can see Tail Whip right there. You can see it does that kind of conal AOE, so try to you know give yourself plenty of room to move. This isn't necessarily a hard fight, but it can be tricky if you haven't seen these mechanics before as the game has been pulled, as it's pulling them from different mechanics as well. So anyway, keep rinsing, repeating damage him until he's done and continue on the quest line itself. So let's go ahead and dive into the final boss fight of this quest line. And with that, we are brought to Garuda. In this case, we're actually going to be able to get a special command, Warp Strike. And this is coming from the storyline uh, and it's just pretty much for this fight. You can use it to attack Garuda for a pretty good, decent amount of damage, but you can also target the various stone pillars to be able to get away or get into uh, the fray. So if you really want to get and uh, close the gap between you and Garuda, you can warp strike. If you want to be able to get far enough away, you can also warp strike to get to the various stone pillars, just like you see Noctis doing there as well. So you can use this, uh, you can attack. It just really depends on what you're needing. It's very handy, and I, honestly, I would love to see this in the game as a full-time action ability. And <laughs> uh, when it comes down to like a paladin shield swipe or something, I would love to have that throw and teleport to uh, the boss in this case, but we'll, we'll have to wait and see. I was really happy to see that we got to use the Warp Strike itself. Now Garuda, she's got a lot of different skills. You can see that she's got that a, a main attack that's going to take up pretty much the whole arena, and thus you have to Warp Strike to get out of it. She's got this train ability, and this, I call it the train ability because I first saw it when doing the Doom Train. Uh, obviously it's a stack and knock back in, in a line, so you can see that where that's going to you know put you and knock you back out of it, but you want to stack up for it to kind of split the damage as well. So there's an example missile strike using the warp strike to be able to get easily out of the AOE and back into <laughs> a fighting range. 
Mistral Strong is just a front conal AOE. You just want to avoid that and just make sure you run you know, behind her. Now, gravitational force is going to keep spawning the things on the ground, so you want to keep moving, and obviously you don't want to be moving to where Noctis is. Otherwise, you're going to be putting out unnecessary damage on your buddy here as well. The mini supercell again is going to have you stack in that conal AOE and it's going to have you knock back. So you also don't want to knock yourself back into any of the things that are persistent on the ground as well. So just try to make sure you spread that out. Now microburst is going to have this long charge up attack. And what this is going to end up doing to you is it's going to keep bringing you back in. So you can treat, see yourself keep warp, warping to the stone uh, to be able to get out of it. And it's going to eventually go off and put out a lot of damage on the whole team here's where you want to try to heal through that here's where you want to make sure that you are <laughs> healed up as much as possible and then you're going to see the arrows coming out you want to stack up for that uh, just with you and noctis so pay attention right there and with that we've pretty much seen all of new garuda's mechanics so just rinse and repeat damage uh, dps her down and go ahead and then get your achievement and then now let's go get your car assuming that you have the required MGP to unlock it. So let's talk about uh, unlocks and where to find them. So the place to start is pretty much where the mini Cactoc Broker is. You're going to find the Ironworks uh, individual and here's where you can get the regalia, the various different, uh, the hairstyle and the card. Now for all this, you're gonna need 230,000 MGP. So if you weren't aware, uh, you're going to need to be able to farm up MGP as quickly as possible. So dive in to the gold saucer, be uh, taking advantage of as much of that as possible. It does say for a limited time only on, uh, you know, on the message. So I'm assuming that you're not gonna be able to get access to this after the 27th of May. So go in, dive in, and that's where you're gonna pick up the mount, the hairstyle, and the card. Uh, the music is going to be coming from, uh, you know, in this case, we'll say Limza Lemenza, Ironwork, Can here, talk to him. And this is where from running those fades, you're going to get these parts in which the, then you can exchange for the scrolls to be able to have access to the 15 music within the world of 14. So take advantage of that. The music is fantastic. And so I would highly recommend make sure you run the fade at least six times to be able to get uh, six of the uh, items that you need to be able to get all of them. And there you go. So with that, you've completed the story and helped Prince Noctis. We're going to be talking about the story uh, in another video, like I said. But I have to, have to say, I'm really uh, quite impressed with the event and how they put it together. I really like the, the car. I really like that it's a four-person mount. Very handy. Going to be very nice. And obviously, you can see here we're hanging out just in our vehicles. This should be a lot of fun for a lot of people. Dive in, have fun, and let me know what you guys think in the comments below. For work to game my name is Brian. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Hey guys, it's me, Brian. Uh, thanks so much for watching this video. If you're new here, we hope you hit that subscribe button. Check us out. We talk a lot about video games, and we hope to at least hear from you in the comments below. We also try to respond to our comments. You know, we really appreciate the comments, the discussion, all the various points of view that everybody is so kindly, uh, I guess, and politely or impolitely shares with us from time to time. So anyway, guys, again, uh, thanks for watching this video. We hope you hit that like button. We hope you hit that subscribe button. Come back for more content each and every day. Uh, we post a lot around here and we'd love to hear from you about what you like about video games and everything. And uh, especially if you have any questions that you're stuck on in anything. So anyway, signing off. <laughs> See you next time.